What is up, folks? Briston Gaming. We are back with another episode of 7 Days to Die Mods Weekly, the show will help figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, as you can see here, we have a cool week ahead of us. We're going to cover a couple of really cool kind of overhaul light-ish mods and then a really cool server-side mod. But before we jump into anything, I want to take a second to say thank you to everybody who has liked or subscribed to the content. And also, thank you to the mod authors because you guys are killing it. There has still been new mods coming out, old mods being updated. It is just so cool to see something like this continuing on through such a late stage of an alpha. Thank you guys so much for the work that you do. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into the mods. And the first mod is the Augmented by Zombieman64. Now, I will preface this and say, starting out, that this mod is no longer being supported but it is still a very fun mod to play with. This mod adds in a bunch of stuff. It adds in a stone knife, which, as you see, has pretty good stats compared to the regular. Let me actually shift where I'm looking so you guys can see the stats on it a little bit better. Pretty good stats compared to the regular, you know, bone knives and stuff that you can craft. You craft it with stone. As a heavy stone axe, you know, pretty good repair amount. Decent stats, not bad, but it gives void crystals that you can use to create all these cool void weapons and armors and stuff. And how you get these is through red and blue loot bags from higher tiered zombies. And you can craft it, in, you can craft the void metal in your inventory, smelt it down into the forge metal, which is kind of cool. And you also have void, void metal pipes. But the real shine is the void pickaxe, axe, shovel, auger, chainsaw, all the normal tools. Up to the steel, the the clubs and the sledgehammers, you don't have you know a lot of void guns and stuff. But you also see we have some armor sets. We have the military set, and then a steel armor like set that have you know pretty decent stats. But then we go over into the ranged weapons, and we have tactical versions of most of those. So we have a tactical crossbow, a tactical wooden bow, a tactical SMG, a tactical pistol, tactical AK, tactical pump shotgun, and then we have a baseball bat, a knife, spear, wrench shovel, pickaxe, and axe. And we also have some tactical armor mods. So this gives carrying capacity plus five, which is pretty cool. And then you have this here, which gives better cold resistance and some explosion. This gives better heat resistance and some explosion damage. This, you know, 35% chance to cripple. A little bit of extra grip stuff. Like, these are all just, you know, a step above what you're normally going to find. And, like, the, the pocket mod gives plus three as opposed to plus two for the higher tier pocket mod that you can craft. So it's all pretty good. But then at the end here, we have what's called these godly weapons. I'm going to put these down here so I can show you guys what they look like. So you have a godly hammer here, and that's a lot of damage. 400 damage on a power attack, and the block damage is 460. That's really high, and that's without mods. This axe as well, the godly axe, some super high damage. The godly spear, or the, I'm sorry, the godly dagger, just some really good damage too. Sneak attack with that would be just insane. And then the godly mace, which acts like a baseball bat, still some really crazy, some crazy damage. But this is what they look like when we come here and we circle around a little bit. You can see what the, the two-handed hammer looks like, the axe, the knife. Oops, sorry. And then we've got the uh, the mace there, which went invisible for a second. That looks really good. I like the way that that looks. But like I was saying, this is kind of an overhaul light. Not just because it adds in a bunch of new weapons and armors and stuff, but also what it does for the zombies. Now, I've got these lovely ladies down here. I'm going to go ahead and go god mode so you can see the HP. The HP is just a little bit higher on these guys. And what it is with this is it takes the normal zombies and increases the HP by about 25%. Ferals, about 50%, and then radiated by 100%. So they have a lot more HP than what normal is. Like the normal party girl doesn't have this much HP when she's radiated. But look at how just a level 2... Uh, sorry, the, the godly hammered... Or the godly baseball bat did that. Wow, I can't talk today. And then we smack this lady in the face with this here godly hammer. Boom! We can easily clear out a nice little horde. If you had something like this when you're running through with a horde, man, you could have some fun with this. Look at that one hit. Knock that lady flying. Get down. This is such a cool mod. The stuff that it adds, all these weapons and stuff like that, are really cool. Especially because, like, the melee weapons have, like, a faster attack per minute than the normal stuff does. Plus, you know, like I showed you, they have a higher entity damage. The tools are going to give you higher uh, attacks per minute. So you can get more. They have higher block damage, entity damage, higher durability. Um, 
all the the ranged weapons are going to have a lot faster fire rate, more damage and stuff than what you're going to find normally. So these are all just really cool stuff that you're not going to get early game because you're not going to be getting the red and blue loot bags from, you know, this lady. If she dropped one, she would drop a yellow. But higher tier stuff you're going to be able to start getting and you're going to be able to start getting these higher tier items to really be able to up your later game stuff, which I've always thought was great having more progression. But with that, folks, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the next mod. All right, folks, so this next mod is the Weapon Racks by Altered, and I actually really like this mod uh, because it shows what's inside. It shows what's stored there. You see, we've got these Weapon Racks here that when we come in here and I say search, as soon as it pulls up, it's come. There we go. So you see, we've got a whole bunch of stuff from the last mod we showed off in here, and look, you can see them all displayed there. And the same is over here. You see all the different kinds of tools and stuff. Like you see, we've got the auger, the chainsaw, stuff like that. And they're all on here. Which, that's just really cool. I love that. And the same as this one over here. You know, we can come and look at it and we can see the tools that are there are showing up on the back of it. Like, that's just so neat. I love that. This is just a really cool decoration slash storage mod. I like it because, like, sometimes when I build, I like to have stuff like this that shows what's there. And then having a mod like this, like with the ammo storage stuff to where you can show different kinds of ammos and stuff. This is just really cool because, like, say you want one that's strictly for spears, you can set one up for just spears, spare weapons and stuff like that. I always have a ton of them, especially, you know, playing with friends, things like that. I like having stuff like this just as a cool decoration, and that's exactly what this is. It's just a very cool decoration. But with that, folks, we're going to go ahead and move over to the next mod. All right, folks, so this next mod is the Stun Baton Reimagined by Drake0713, and Drake has done something that I've kind of long thought has been needing to be done. So what this does is it takes the Stun Baton and kind of puts it more in line with the Tier 1 Candy Club in terms of block damage and entity damage. So it also makes it better than the Tier 0 Pipe Baton, but for some, because which for some reason, like, the Pipe Baton was better than the stun baton which never made any sense to me but it also doesn't make the stun baton as good as the tier three steel club like in terms of raw damage so how the mod actually works is you've got a choice between higher attacks per minute with lower damage on the stun baton to medium attacks per minute and medium damage with the steel club and then high damage and low attacks per minute with the sledge. So you've got a good choice between how you want to play. But what this also does is it takes and it gives a knockdown effect as you perk into the electrocutor perk with this. So as you hit level 5 on the electrocutor perk, you have a chance to do more knockdown and stun with like... A one second stun and also as you see this thing is charged constantly it's always going to spit out the we'll just spawn in a uh a zombie yo feral here hey if i can actually hit the guy so it's always going to shock them for one second as opposed to having to be charged up so you can just continue to sit here and smack on a dude and have a good weapon to give you some stun as soon as you find something and that this is i think fantastic for like harder playthroughs and stuff like that because it really slots the stun baton into a niche and again for being a server side mod this is actually really cool however there is a downside of this so because of how this mod works anything that does shock damage gets tweaked to not last as long so like electric fences um the tier zero pipe pistol also or i'm sorry the tier zero pipe baton also gets a knockdown at um higher the higher you spec into electrocutioner which is kind of weird but all in all this just really really makes the stun baton something useful because when it first came out yeah it was kind of a cool novel little item to use in a clutch moment but you had to charge it up and it just became such a pain in the butt but now it actually works so like we can actually spawn in a handful of yo ferals and then like, oh crap, you know, now we actually have a chance to, to stun them. And now we have a little bit of how we want to handle this. Like, look at the maneuverability we have a little bit more. We're controlling the flow of the fight. Our stamina is not being used ridiculous. We're not doing ridiculous damage either. But instead, what we're doing is we're able to, to you know, hold our own against a couple of zombies so long as we back up. 
And these guys are ferals, so you know they're they're not easily pushovers. They're gonna have decent uh, decent HP, and they're gonna deal decent damage. But this gives us a chance to see. Look at that. That gives us a decent chance to you know handle a fight, especially early game, is where this super shines, where the the stun batons are really gonna take into effect. But also on like a horde night, if you do a melee horde with this. Mwah, chef's kiss this would be so fun to play around with something like this on a horde night but with that folks we're gonna go ahead and move over to the last mod all right folks so as you can see this last mod is the experimental recipes by sergeant 1000 and this is a cool overhaul light like i said earlier it's almost an overhaul by itself because one it has a really cool splash screen it adds something like 1400 new items 150 new blocks it adds a bunch of new zombies and animals, recipes, skills. I'll show you some of it when we get inside. I'm not going to go over the entire mod because there is a lot of stuff here. But I do want to show that it's still a really cool mod that's been constantly updated since like Alpha 18, 17, something like that. Like It's been progressing for like the last two years really steadily constant updates and stuff like that and i absolutely loved this mod way back in the day so i'm gonna show you guys some stuff we're gonna get in game i'll pull you guys back in and i'll show you some of the cool stuff with it all right so here we are in game um you see we've got everything is a little different we've got a whole different outlook for our backpack and this i said it was an overhaul light it it really is a kind of an, a full-on overhaul with its own stuff because it adds so much to the game but you see, you've got a tab for traps and different kinds of stuff you can craft. Clothing, resources. We come over and we look at the skills. So much is here. How everything unlocks. There's just there's a lot that this mod adds in that is just really... I don't want to say crazy, but in depth. There's a lot that this mod adds that can really tweak how you play the game. And it's not one that really gets a lot of love, so to speak, because I don't really see a lot of people talking about it so much as they do, you know, Undead Legacy or Darkness Falls or some of these other bigger overhaul stuff like this is a really good mod. I really think people would really have a lot of fun with this if they just sat down and played. You would have a lot of fun with this because just it's not quite as punishing as some others, but it is very punishing. It adds in some pretty good stuff. And the UI is kind of crisp. I, I won't lie. The UI is fairly crisp. I like it. But there's just the way that this mod tweaks stuff and the way that it combines some of the other mods that are built into it. Like, let me, let me pull up the actual um, mod to show what's inside of it. Or not the mod, but the, um, the zip file. So it's got... The uh, doors overhaul, beat up vehicles, creature packs, fun with flags, HQ vehicles, a minigun. Like there's other stuff that it adds that I'm not going to cover because I got I want you guys to experience it all for yourself. I'm not gonna like I said before how I used to do overhauls is I would go through and show like the first you know gather up these things get to a trader this and that I'm not gonna do that anymore now I'm just gonna kind of talk about and highlight why I like these types of mods and let you guys experience them for yourselves. So for a couple minutes here I'm gonna explain why this is a cool mod because it. It's different from some of the other overhauls, but it's similar in some ways. One thing that I really enjoy is some of the icons and stuff that it has brought back it makes me remember some of the older versions of the game. It also makes things a little bit more punishing and like how you have to craft and gather and some of the stuff you do. You don't have the full backpack here. You know, we spawn naked. We have to figure out what we're going to do. I'm playing on Navis Game Plus map right now with this. And this is just a brand new character that I've actually been playing on a separate map with this for a while now. Uh, enjoying the mod itself with everything that it adds. But it really makes you think of how you want to build out your character. You can't just, like, you know, a normal game, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go straight into this. And I'm going to do straight do this. And then I'm going to do this and this. With this one, it's a lot different. You, you really need to think about what you're doing and plan stuff out. And if you've got friends to play with, it's even better because you can actually, you know, plan out how you're going to play together. But some of these are kind of fun too, being able to do, you know, a ninja master and be able to sneak just as fast as you walk normally. Like if we go into a crouch mode, our walking speed is slowed. 
but with the Ninja Master, it you max it out and you can walk just as fast crouch as you can normally. And you can actually, you know, generate less noise and stuff like that. So it actually makes it a lot better, in my opinion, at least. It it gives you viable alternate forms of gameplay that I've I've enjoyed since starting playing with this mod. It adds uh, to the to the desert biome. It adds snake nests as opposed to bird nests. You know, because the desert's not crappy enough with all the death chickens flying around trying to eat your face. Now you have to worry about more snakes than normal. It's just there's so much that this mod adds in that really makes it such an impactful experience for me personally with trying to figure out how the hell am I going to survive? What am I going to do for food? You know, I really need to get out and I need to start looting stuff. Well, how is my health? Am I going to get killed here? Do I want to die at all? You know, stuff like that. Like it really can make it kind of punishing for you, especially if you set yourself with goals like I'm only allowed to die once. Or not at all. I'm not allowed to die. I'm not allowed to this. Stuff like that. I forgot it does that sometimes. That scared the absolute poop out of me. <laughs> but it's just the things that this adds. Like, look at that little zombie there. We're gonna, can we sneak up and punch her in the face? No. We couldn't sneak into her. We have an electric Emma. And she's just one of the zombies that it adds. Like, there's a lot of others that I'm not going to show you again because I want you guys to experience it for yourselves. I want you guys to get on and see it. You see, we also don't have times. No, oh, I don't have the... Go ahead and freeze the AI for a second. And I want to show... I don't know how to spell clock. So you want to tell the time? Get a clock. That's how you're going to tell the time. And you have a pick lock tool that you'll need to be able to to pick doors and saves and stuff like that. It's just there's so much that this mod adds in that makes it so fun as opposed to just some vanilla stuff. Yeah, Darkness Falls has a lot of these same things. Sure, it does. Absolutely. But the way that they're implemented is what's different enough for me to, to like this mod and still be able to appreciate all the hard work that Kane has put into darkness falls and still enjoy darkness falls as well but for me this mod scratches a different itch it really does i think you guys are going to enjoy it i'm i'm not going to go into depth on any overhaul i want you guys to get in and experience them so just take my word for it download this play it i can guarantee you guys are going to have fun it is going to be a little bit more challenging but you guys are going to enjoy it so much but with that folks we are done for the week thanks for sticking around if you had fun go ahead and like and subscribe if you aren't have fun folks Take it easy, and we will see you next time.